Oh, if you want to, you want to hold your friend's hands, but you don't want to be with sus, you can use this. Yeah, hold on. I think this oh. might make it more sus. Is this a warm up exercise? <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, me, and this is him. Hi. Antoine and Juji, Juji Juan. Yeah. So we're not doing a podcast right now, we're doing an in RIL. <laughs> so there's one exercise in your back training that I'm sure you haven't been doing that you're probably missing. It's called the Yates deadlift. Throwing Yates at a huge back, and then I realized, hey, he's not doing a normal deadlift. He's doing a Yates deadlift, which is like a rack pull without the rack. This is actually one of the harder de deadlift variations. So if you haven't tried this one yet, Try it out because it's uh, it's pretty good. It'll probably improve your deadlift too, honestly. Um, we're putting it at the end of a back day, so that lowers the amount of weight that we can do on it and probably increases the safety of it in a roundabout way. So I don't know why you're starting, why are you starting from a rack? I just like to walk back and I... Okay. Yeah. No reason. Guys, I've never seen purple plates, have you? Nope. I've never seen purple plates. Wow, it slides a lot, huh? I like it. You do or don't? It's oily here. What? Everything's oily. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine the rack is on my knee. Yep. Yeah. Where's the back? So basically, you're just not touching the ground with the weight for the entire set. I like to get as close to the ground as possible on this. I don't. I just do rack right here. Yeah. Squeeze the back and go up. Yeah. So it's basically like a rack pull for him. Let the rack. All the back. The baggiest tank top. Uh, uh, so the way I like to do it is I don't like to back out of the rack because I just do it off the floor, pick up one rep, and then I just don't touch the floor the whole time. So just like this. The whole idea, kind of, because we're in deadlift, there's a dead point, right? You start dead weight, there's no tension on your back at all. For hypertrophy, you want constant tension throughout the whole set. So I think that's why Yates liked it. Because there's not a point in time during the whole set that there's no tension on the back. Maybe at the top a little bit less, but the whole time, there's the most tension on the back of all the deadlifts possible. So that's why it's, uh, I think Yates was doing it a little bit harder. And you know sometimes on deadlifts, when you do your legs, your glutes. But with this one, I, you gotta use your whole back. You don't, try, you don't focus on the glutes or the hamstring you use your whole back. So it's not very effective. You're not gonna do a, as much weight as a normal deadlift, but there's gonna be a lot of tension. Like your erectors will be fried. The erectors will be very erected. <laughs> Does the internet need another wrist strap tutorial? Probably not. Just I did not one. You did one? I did one with all the different straps. Figure eight, this one, and yeah. the, the whatever, the easy grips. Well, it'd be really useful. All the different uses for wrist straps that don't include holding on to something. One of them is a door stopper for bands. For like COVID workouts, so you can loop it up. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a there's a V trick. There's some V tricks there. Roll your plate on this. Yeah. And have a little slide the place in probably. Yeah. It's a, you're wearing a Swiss Army knife right there. The Swiss yeah. Army knife of, of gym equipment right there. Hmm. There you go. You attach a dumbbell. You just lift it up. Yeah. You can either do micro loading with dumbbells. You can thread a small plate through the dumbbell. So if you want to do like 27 and a half pound dumbbell lateral raises. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you do like baby chains. Yeah. Big <laughs> yeah, you just yeah. lift it up, you know. All right, I'm gonna get out of Or you could, you know the, the little monkey games where you, it's like that in a barrel? Yeah. Put all the straps together, like that, have a little rope, right? Between the two of you, probably have that many uh, straps. We should actually yeah. probably make this video. Then. Yeah, <laughs> you okay. should. Then maybe next time, subscribe to the channel, guys, so yeah. that, uh, you can see an update, see that video later when we brainstorm in the van here in a bit. Yeah. All right. Because we're on the road trip right now. Yeah. It'll never touch the ground the whole time. So they're not dead. They're not touch and go. They're not stop and go. They're just like not touching and keep going. <laughs> Basically like Romanian deadlift. How many reps and sets? The eternal noob question, how many oh. reps and sets? Oh. Oh. If you want to you want to hold your friend's hands, but you don't want to be a sus, you can use this. Yeah, hold on. 
I think this oh. might make it more sus. Is this a warm up exercise? <laughs> How much is that? Uh, this is 375. Oh. Yeah. It's a uh, purple plates are 50. It's the right pounds. amount of weight. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's just right. right. It sets at eight here. Easy, easy peasy. One. Two. Three. Four. It's not touching. Five. Full tension. Here we go. So, so you go, go a little bit lower than Antoine. Is that because of your hamstring flexibility or what? It's because I want to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just stop it where it's, it's kind of hard to stop it there, I find. So yeah. where, right here, stopping here is a lot of back to stop here. Mm. So stopping here, it's a lot of legs to stop it here. I honestly don't see very many people using this. I'm not touching the ground on deadlifts. Yeah. They're either like dropping it because that's how you develop power for powerlifting yeah. or bouncing, which in my opinion is not as good as this. No. Yeah. I used to bounce it when I was younger. Yeah, yeah. So you get a lot through. of reps doing that. On the Atlantis floor, it's yeah. bouncy, boing. Yep. You clear off like this much <laughs> fucking space. Yeah, it's an ego thing. I, I don't know about yeah. touch and go, but this is a this is a nice alternative that actually yeah. helps build muscle in a athletic system. And yeah, it's sure. minimal equipment. Minimal equipment. You only need the whole gym. <laughs> <laughs> no, you barbell and plates. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and straps. I suggest straps. These are the most basic one that Iron Bull has. They're not too long. Just like when they're super long, you gotta wrap them a bunch of times. But these ones are good, good uh, length. IronBullStrength.com/av. No more codes for you guys. <laughs> you know, they remove the code. But if you use my link, you'll you, you know you gotta support me doing that. All right, guys. Yeah. Let us know what you think of this exercise. Yeah, try it out and then uh, comment. All right. Secrets for back thickness. A la Dorian <laughs> Yates. Sure, it worked. It works. Wow. It works. It actually works. Yeah. Another use for stress. <laughs> oh it actually God. worked. Jesus. This, this was the video behind the video. Yeah, the view behind the video. <laughs>